Overburdened caseworkers, an unresponsive hotline, two findings of an alarming audit of the Illinois Department of Family Services. It was just out today. We've already reported 98 kids who had prior contact with DCFS died just last year. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely spent the day going through the 150 page report. The Auditor General's investigation was ordered after the shocking death of 17 month old Samaj Crosby, found dead days after a DCFS worker visited the family's Joliet home. The report covers the years 2015 through 2017 and points to an agency understaffed and overwhelmed. For example, the agency's hotline, slow to respond. 50% of the hotline calls go into voicemail and need a call back. So for emergent cases where children are really in trouble, that's a huge problem. And shockingly, crucial interviews came slowly too. In 29% of cases, alleged victims weren't interviewed within 24 hours. Even more troubling, in 24% of cases, alleged perpetrators weren't interviewed within seven days. Our system has to be more nimble and innovative and accountable to ensure the best outcome each time. Federal court oversight limits new cases for investigators, but DCFS wasn't following the rules. 78% of investigators were given more than 15 new assignments in a month of violation. And in 26% of sampled investigations where abuse was confirmed, no services were recommended with no reasons given. Now what that says in normal people talk is, we left families alone. We left families stranded. We let that kid know that their voice does not matter. And that although, yes, abuse is wrong, we as a state said, it's okay. We, we, don't, need, we don't need to offer services. We don't need to offer support. In response tonight, DCFS says it welcomes the Auditor General's findings. The agency says it's already developed new timelines and training for hotline callbacks, and it's developing a new model to identify the best services for families. But one other grim statistic from that audit, children under age one were the most frequent targets of confirmed abuse, 13% of all victims. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News.